Hashem creates people. And he gives people their own brain, their own heart, and their own ability to choose right or wrong. Most of the things in your life are not your choice. It wasn't your choice to come to the world. God decided for you to come to the world. It wasn't your choice to be a male or a female. God decided that you're going to be a male. Even though some people say, no, I'm really a female in a male's body, that's complete nonsense. That just means that they're crazy. God decided whether you were born. God will decide when a person will die. God decides if a person is sick or healthy. God decides if he's rich or poor. God decides if you're beautiful or ugly. God decides all of these things. The only thing God doesn't decide is whether you will do right or wrong. That's your choice. That's what it means in the Torah. There's a uh, sages teach, "Akol shamayim chutz shamayim." Everything is from heaven except the fear of heaven. Meaning, everything in the world comes from God, comes from Hashem, except whether you fear Him or not. Meaning, everything else is not up to you. So He gave you that freedom to choose. Some people choose to work on their character and become better quality people. Some people choose to allow themselves to do whatever they want, like an animal. So it all depends on the choice. The point is, Abutai, is that Akadosh Baruch is never going to punish you for being ugly. He's never going to punish you for being good looking either. He's going to punish you of how you use it. He's going to reward you of how you use it. Don't assume, oh no, no, I'm still young, I'm only 18, I'm only 20, I'm only 25, I'm only 35, I'm only 45. I got time, I got time to do tshuva. No, no, my friend. You don't have no idea how much time you have. But do something today. Do something tomorrow. Do something more the next day. Why? Because the Kadosh Baruch Hu is going to give you signs. But he also needs a sign. He needs a sign of life. That you're doing something about it. The Gemara in Maseret Chulin says, How do you know if a fish is alive? Go to a river, and there's a waterfall, a little river waterfall. You see there's some fish. How do you know which one is alive or not? Why? Because there's a stream of water makes the fish go. So even if he's dead, he's still moving. How do you know this one is alive? How do you know? You look at everything. They're all moving. Dead ones, alive one. How do you know which one's alive? The one that's alive is swimming against the stream. If he's going with the stream, most likely he's dead. If he's going against the stream, that's alive. Why? Because you need life to go against the stream. You need life to go against the secular mentality. You need life to go against the goyish mentality. You need life to go against the Christian idolatry mentality. You need life to go against everything you've done for the last 3,000 years that brought you here. You need life to go against that. Why? Because that's what's going to give you eternal life, just like a Kadosh Baruch who said, follow my Torah so you have life.